This channel is what studying abroad dreams are made of. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hey guys, it's Talia from My School Connect. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy and everything's going well. And I know that college dorm room shopping is around the corner and so is going back to college or maybe even your freshman year of college. And college move-in's going to start soon as well. It's going to slowly creep up in the summer. And before you even know it, it's going to be um, school time. So I wanted to give you guys some good tips and tricks to make your college move-in process a little bit easier and go more smoothly so it's not as stressful because I know some of these tips I found from online and then some are some of my personal tips that I um, figured out or realized that were very helpful during my first year or freshman year move-in. I'm going to be a sophomore coming up now, so I need to start packing too as well. But I know that for me, freshman year was super stressful because everything was so new. So I thought um, I'd do a video on it. And since most of you are going to be studying abroad soon, I thought uh, this would be a helpful video. So personally, freshman year, I think, is the most exciting but also nerve-wracking experience and year. Everything is new. It's a new city, maybe, new friends, new people, new place. You don't know where most things are. Your dorm room is going to be a new experience. For some of you, it might be the first time sharing in a room with people. And for some of you, it might be the first time you're meeting your roommate because maybe you met online or it was random, so you don't know who it is until you get to the room, which is very nerve-wracking as well. So there's a lot going on long story short so it's super hard to get organized on the spot or a week before you move into college because like I said there's a lot going on so I think it's easier to get organized earlier than later there's many benefits which I'm going to talk about in a little bit but if you get organized earlier rather than later um, it'll help you down the line so I wanted to make this video to show you guys how to get a head start on, all, on like all your dorm room uh, essentials and basically just moving in and stuff. And the first thing um, that I wanted to talk about, which I think is the most important thing, is your clothing. If there's an option for your college or where you're studying abroad to send your clothing to your dorm room earlier rather than later or just to send them earlier, um, I would take that opportunity. I know it might seem stressful in the moment to get all these boxes packed up and shipped, but trust me, down the line, it'll really help. So at Tulane, which is where I go, I got super lucky, and they have um, a program, I guess you could call it, that you can ship a certain number of boxes to your dorm room ahead of time, and they'll they'll receive the boxes and then they'll put them in your dorm if you have your dorm room and everything on there which is really nice because I only had limited luggage space to bring on the plane so by being able to ship my bedding or extra clothes that I wouldn't need starting um, at the beginning of the year or at home during the summer or certain decorations or just all the little essentials that you're going to need because you're literally living in that room um, they gave me the opportunity to send it earlier which was really nice of them so I don't know if your school will have that, but I'm, they might have something like it. So just make sure to look up, um, look it up on your school's website or just look up, um, look it up on your email as well. So with that being said, you should also constantly check your email, your like new studying abroad email. Um, especially if you're an incoming freshman, because there's going to be so much new information coming your way about move in classes, college life your new mentors, your orientation. There's so much new information and all of it's exciting, but it's also very important. So you might see an email, you're not in the mood to read it, but it might contain some really important information. So make sure to just keep track of all your emails. My second point is if your college doesn't provide a service where you can ship your um, clothes early, that's okay. Just really try to start packing your clothes up early in boxes and just having them ready for when not boxes, sorry, in your luggage and just having them ready for when you do need to um, start getting everything really on track and organized before you leave for college. I think that you should pack up your winter stuff or stuff that you don't wear in the summer and anything that you don't need before school and just put it in your luggage. Um, I would just pack them up and have them ready to go in your luggage for when you do um, get ready to go to college. And the reason I say this is that if you have most of it packed in 
early August or late July, it's going to help you down the line because, like I said, the last week before you go to college, family and friends, and everyone's going to want to say goodbye to you. They're going to want to hang out with you as much as they can before you leave. And if you're stuck um, packing all the time week before you leave for college, you're not going to have any time to hang out with these people and you're going to regret it a little bit because you're not going to see them for a while. So that's what I recommend doing. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I should have done that until after my freshman year and I packed super late and luckily my parents were um, really nice and they helped me uh, pack so it went by faster and some of my friends came over to help me pack too. But I do wish that I started a little bit earlier so I had more time in those last couple of days to just enjoy LA and just um, chilling and relaxing, but that's okay. You live and you learn. My next point is about dorm room stuff and decorations, because I know that's all super exciting, and you finally get to decorate your own room and decide what you want to put in it, and I know it's all super exciting, but I say wait until you get to your dorm and see what it's like and where things will fit before you even order anything, because you never know. You might want this cute pillow or a cute little ottoman or something to put pit in your room and then you get there and it's actually smaller than you imagined or bigger than you imagined and you can either add or take things out but you don't want to come with this huge ottoman and then you have nowhere to put it and you don't know what to do with it so I say even though it's so exciting to shop before if you're looking for maybe bigger things or like more essential items that are prominent in your room I would wait till you get there to see how it all fits and how you can decorate your room appropriately and like I said, just wait until you get to your dorm. And once you get there, you'll have plenty of time to look up dorm room decorations and maybe have fun doing it with your roommates. So you guys can get matching bedding or matching pictures or whatever you want. It's always fun to do it with your roommate too to see if you guys want to match. And then you can always have it shift to campus. There's always um, a place on campus where you're going to get mail. So if you just have it shipped there, you'll easily get it. And um, there, it'll be in your dorm room. I know, I know it's super exciting. I was super excited too, but it makes everything easier if you just order it there. Or even once you get there, you could find a cute shop um, locally in town and see if there's any cute items you can get there as well. That's also, that's also an option because then you'll see your dorm room and you'll know what it's like. And then now I want to talk about once you get to the dorm room. So after you pack your luggages, you have everything set, you have all your essential items. Oh, one thing I say is when you're packing, make a list of everything you need, every little thing you need, everything that you think you would need. All the things that you use at home, you're going to use there. So just bring it all. Um, and you can also look up college essential dorm room packing lists online. And there's thousands of ones with so many detailed and like extensive items that you didn't think you would remember to bring or you forgot. So look those up. I highly recommend so you don't forget everything. So you don't forget anything. But now once you get to the dorm, it's going to be super busy and exciting. It really depends on how your college runs college move-in day. But for me at Tulane, um, me and my roommate had the same time slot, I think it was around an hour or two. And that's when we had to check in with our RA or the people in charge of move-in. And that's when we could put our boxes inside the room and start organizing a little bit. And everyone has different times at Tulane, so it doesn't get super crowded all at once. But there's going to be many people, people, many people bustling in and out, no matter how your college does move in. So it might stress you out a little bit and make you super anxious, but just take a few deep breaths and don't worry because you will get everything figured out and everything will work out. Just in the moment, it seems super anxious because everything is new. And if you're, if you're able to bring a parent or family member or friend or anyone who's willing to help you unpack and set up your dorm room, ask if they'll come along and help you because another person to help you with all your clothes and basically you're unpacking your whole life into this dorm room, um, it's really helpful to have someone there to um, help you out in the process. So once you get inside the room and all your boxes are there, your luggage, try unpacking the bigger things first and putting them in the place that you potentially think they would go in because that means you can take out you can take out those huge luggages or those boxes and you can put them to the side. What I did is we put them on the outside of our dorm room, um, dorm room door. So then we had more room on the inside to take out other things and then eventually we brought our luggages back inside the room. But if you start with the bigger things and get those boxes out of the way, then it gives you more room and space in the dorm room to separate and organize everything else. Um, so focus on the big things first. And then 
as time goes on, as you start putting clothes away and stuff, the little things you can tweak here and there by yourself later, but don't worry about them at the beginning. And if it is your first time meeting your roommate, if you guys are moving at the same time, be kind and say hello. You're, you are going to be living with them for a year, so you want to make a good first impression. And try to see if they need any help or they need something hanged up and they can't do it themselves or if they need tape or something. Just try to be as helpful as possible because I'm sure they're stressed out too. And it's always nice to start off college knowing that your roommate is there for you and is going to give a helping hand because they probably don't know anyone either and they're just here to make friends as well. So if you start off on a good foot, then that will make a good impression for the rest of the year. I just want to say it's going to be stressful, but it's everything will get done. It seems like a lot, but it goes by super fast because of the nerves and the anxiety and all the excitement. So it really is an enjoyable experience. Like I loved setting up my dorm and like hanging out with my parents. It, it's like I'm really hyping it up to be super stressful and it was but also I enjoyed it because I was it was an exciting new experience it was more of a, a like stress stress induced excitement so it really is fun if it's just really what you make of it um and you might not get everything done on the first day but no that's okay because you literally have a whole year to figure out where you want to put stuff and you might have to do some things by yourself and it might be a little scary without your parents there but that's the like that's what's great about college. You learn things about yourself and do things by yourself and find out the most effective way to do things on your own. It really is a great experience. And if you have any other questions about the first day and move in or specific items you want to bring or just anything about studying abroad and dorm room essentials and stuff, feel free to leave a comment below and um, reach out to us on all the platforms. The uh, our handles iSchool Connect and. That's it for my video today. Tune in next week for a new one. Thank you so much for listening.